So Brandon, so much was expected of this offensive line at the start of the year. Have you, have you guys lived up to those expectations, do you think? <clears throat> I think uh, we definitely improved every game. Uh, I think every game minus the Houston game, we played to our, our, uh, our expectations. I think uh, every week we kind of took it as another challenge because every, every team's looking at us like, oh, this is the game they're circling. Uh, a lot of teams are looking at our over the line like, oh, they want to compete and show that they're NFL guys. So everybody's going to play their best game. So we kind of took that and prepared every single day. Every Tuesday, Wednesday, our hard practice and practice really hard. So I, I guess that's uh, kind of how we pride ourselves on working hard and being a hard working off the line. What happened when you got injured and were you scared that it was more serious than initially? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, one play I was just going up to a linebacker and uh, I got hit and then I tried to put my weight back on my. Uh, back on my knee and it just kind of just gave out on me. Um, yeah, I was, I was definitely scared, but, you know, um, I'm thankful that it wasn't nothing like really serious, like season uh, injury, uh, ending injuries. Uh, it's just, uh, I'm just glad I'm just in good health right now. Grace probably saved you, right? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. You flopped around right side, left side, even played some center this, this week. So is it hard right, left? I mean, it's a different step, different stance. Um, I mean, I've been doing it for a little bit while now, so it's, it's kind of getting gotten, getting uh, getting easier for sure. But it's definitely uh, uh it's kind of just the hardest part is about is just flipping the plays inside your your head, like where you was, where you at before. But uh, it's definitely it's definitely easy. Once you play center, you kind of know how to play left or right. You know what I mean? So it's not that big of a difference. This team has put up a streak of what I think it's twelve straight games now, one hundred and forty yards. Yeah. Well, a lot of different guys up front. I mean, you guys have mixed and matched. I don't know if you played multiple games together intact. What's that say for the group to be able to produce the way you produced? I think it definitely shows our depth and our chemistry. Um, I think we got at least four or five guys that can play four four of the positions on the offensive line. We got three guys that can play all uh, all five. Uh, we're deep. We are our front like our. Seven deep guys could all play for sure, high division one guys. So I think that just comes down to like our depth and then that we all take this game very seriously and comes down to like practice Tuesdays and Wednesdays, working hard. Everybody works hard in the weight room. Everybody works hard in the film room. Everybody just knows their assignment. I think we just know they don't know how to do our jobs. You said four can play all the positions. At least four of us can play. Uh, well, four, four. I think three people can play all five, okay. and then four could play about all four positions. So Coach talk, Coach Moore talked about a lot in the offseason. His, his literal plan was to be able to make that the case by rotating a lot of guys and practices and things like that. Yeah. Um, so where would you say the depth is in being able to play different positions is now to before that? Like, are there guys, even yourself included, that would not be able to do this if it wasn't for the offseason work? Or um, With that, yeah. So like. Recently, before like we had, it was more like the death was biggest problem. So, yeah, yeah, so like how off season kind of worked out it was like we all kind of like way the way Coach Moore kind of works it out. It's like some years he'll have guys like completely working in a completely different position. So like I was starting out like I came in my freshman year I was a, a left tackle. Sometimes he would move to right guard, something completely different. But I would make my brain work and let me work harder and make me work on that stuff. So I'll be able to work on that type of thing and be able to kind of look at things kind of differently. And he always flipped uh, guys off season, just back and forth, just kind of get guys to think about it differently and build that depth. So he, as years came on, we got more and we more guys were able to do more and more and more. And now like we're, we're in like year five. So now guys are able to play four out of five. And some guys are able to play five out of the five. To, to that, what you were saying about versatility, obviously the, the one position center, right? So the three that can play all five, you, Zach, and who's the other one? I would say uh, Doug. And Doug? Yeah. Okay. You guys made a big deal out of being picked 14th in the offseason. I've asked several players so far today about that. That chip on your shoulder, yeah. how's that, how did you use that in the summer, and how's that carrying through? Um, I think as soon as we saw that, that – um, so they came came live on the internet. We all kind of was like, oh wow, like they clearly don't re respect us at all. Like we're turning a lot of production on offense and defense. We're getting a lot of guys good out of the portal. We're getting, we have a great offensive line. Like there's, there's no way that they, they could look at us and say we're a 14th uh, team in this in this conference. And it, it doesn't make sense to me. And we all kind of was like, all right, cool. 
like, okay, they, they don't believe in us. I mean, we believe in us. It's kind of a thing. Uh, I mean, it's, it's West Virginia. Like, no one believes in West Virginia, but only people that believe in West Virginia is people in West Virginia. And we know how much we had to work, and we know how this this this, this state um, this prides itself on hard work, blue collar. Like, we don't, we're not looking, we're not, I'm, a, I'm an office of line. We don't go out there looking for recognition. I don't go out there looking for uh, pictures and videos and, and being number one in, the, uh, in a, in a conference poll. I don't care about number one conference poll. It all depends if who's going to be number one at the end of the season. And you know what I mean? I think we're proving everybody wrong that, I mean, don't, don't look at these, these news and these, these outlets, uh, look at that work and look at what we're going to put on the field. Like, I mean, we just, you watch the film, turn the film on, you see, who is 14, really? You continue to use that even now. That oh, for sure, sure. That that never changes. That's that's we're 14 until proven ever otherwise. Like that's that's never going to change. They're going to look at us as 14. Every team looks at us as 14. I think uh, we just got to go out there and prove people that we're not. How do you view this game coming up this weekend? I mean, here's an Oklahoma team that was seven and zero and yeah. was looking at the playoffs. They've lost two in a row, so. They're either going to be upset that they lost those two games down or they're going to be mad and want to come in. And, of course, you guys beat them last year. So how do you approach it as a player going into that game? Oh, yeah. I mean, you look at Oklahoma. Like They, they, they had uh, years of them being successful uh, uh, this year. They had some successful in the, in the last couple of games. Uh, I, I, don't, I think they're going to for sure come and play their hardest. Like, they're a great team. They're, they, their defense is pretty good. Their offense is pretty good. Like, nothing's going to change with them. They're going to continue to play hard. Uh, the thing with us is we just got to play harder. You know what I mean? Uh, we just got to understand that. Like, they're, they're, they was projected number one. We were projected 14. Like, that's a dynamic. We got to – it's all about who wants it more, you know. So, yeah, it comes out really to that. Shuffling on the offensive line, the one constant has been Zach in the middle. What's it been like as he's kind of been the leader of this group and playing with him? Um, with him being a leader, like he's kind of like a, kind of like a heart over the line. Like he's kind of our leader, and uh, he kind of talks, and we all talk about it, and we all kind of. I think we're all getting older. From you know, what I mean, I've been with Zach since my freshman year. You know what I mean? So we all gotten older. We all kind of developed together. So we all kind of just bounce off each other. Have great, have great chemistry in the room. Like all of us can talk to. All the, the young guys to the oldest guys can talk. You know what I mean? It's just really just a good development from the top to the bottom. Uh, I think our chemistry is just really, really good. So I think we all bounce off each other, especially Zach can bounce off all of us as well. Thoughts on that clip um, I saw posted of Zach, uh, the CJ run in the end zone to the, um, the, the uh, bow end side where he took his man and ran him all the way in the end zone and just body slammed him. You know which one I'm talking about? It's about this recent game? BYU game. Yeah, 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 for yeah, sure, for sure. I mean, yeah. that was uh, was that one of those where y'all going whoa? Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, we we we, watched, we just watched it. It was just it's just crazy that uh, he drove his guy like almost he almost drove into the, into the band. Yeah, always at the band. So it's always great to see that type of stuff. Does, how often does Coach Moore play those? Does he play the screw ups more than the the, the body slams or? Uh, we we always watch the the negatives first. We always watch the negatives first, and then we then we get into the good stuff. But it's always the negatives first. I'm sure yours in front of Nico. Make that role this week, Say again. Well, I'm sure your block in front of Nico. Oh yeah, run, yeah, that, yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What yeah. does that feel like? I mean, it doesn't matter who the opponent is or whatever. When you just win a play so completely. Yeah, uh, I mean, with this game, our big, our biggest thing was what Coach Brown was kind of talking about. Is just we, we were just kind of striving to play our best, and we just wanted to play our best. That's all we really wanted to do. Um, win, lose, or whatever the circumstances, we just wanted to play our best. That's what our team wants to do. We want to play hard. We want to play our best. We want to turn that film on and leave no doubt that who, who came out there and played the, 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 the hardest and had the most effort and had the most strain, the most discipline and all that. One other thing, you all in the past two or three weeks have gone and balanced extra linemen, you know, brought Nick in as an extra guy. That might change where you are. You're not at guard. You are maybe two guys in instead of one or even three when you go to that unbalanced line. Does that change your path, your approach, what you're doing, or are the plays kind of geared that hey, it's still guard techniques or tackle techniques, whatever it is, no matter where you're lined up? Um, I think it really just it's, it, I don't think nothing really changes. Is, is our techniques still going to be the same regardless of where I am? Um, we're still going to have the same like double teams are still the same techniques. Everything's pretty much the same. Keep it very simple. Nothing changes. Um, we just kind of just play it the same regardless of where you're at on the offensive line sometimes out of the defense when you come out and you've got that huge front, that huge surface, 
that they're like, whoa, man, there's a lot more gaps to cover here, and yeah. there's a lot of big guys there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, a lot of teams got to see that and notice that. Like, we got a, a lot more guys on the line. So, I mean, it, it, it doesn't really change anything. Just teams should try to play it. You know, but what it comes down to is if they can stop it. So if they can't stop it, we're gonna keep going to it. You're right. Yeah. Uh, how do they determine that? How many times have you done that? Uh, this that was my second time. I did it uh, TCU when we was away. Um, how he determines it? That's that's a uh, coach, uh, coach Mike type deal. Um, he I don't know how he picks it, but he's kind of just it's based on being the hammer instead of being the nail, being the aggressor instead of being you know the guy that's being. Uh, uh, taking it, you know what I mean. You want to be that. You know, that those are the guys who's probably the most had the most dominant week or been being the most dominant. Just you know what I mean. Married guy. Yeah. Uh, so do you marry you guys? There are a bunch of you now on that offensive line. Do you, yeah. do you guys hang out more together as a group with the wives, and what's it like being a married college student football player? Um, I mean, you know, the wives hang out, so they kind of drag us where, you know what I mean? So even if we want to go home and sleep, they, they don't allow us. So, you know, how that works. Uh, they kind of just pick us up and drag us. But they, they all they all hang out. They have their group chats, and they all coordinate their outfits and all that stuff like that. We kind of just like, a, we don't really care. Uh, Are the guys that get married first, it seems? Um, Field forever. Oh, so. yeah, they, yeah. I mean, them wideouts and all them, the DBs. No, no, no. It it's really comes down to uh, – uh, know what you have, you know what I mean? So you kind of just stick what you have, you know what I mean? You just know uh, us big guys don't really get many opportunities, you know, so we got to keep what we get, you know. The other guys look at you, there's the old dudes, man. Their wives are going to go out and play bridge or cards <laughs> or trivial pursuit, and we're all having hanging out. Yeah. They view you that way? Yeah, yeah, they definitely look at the old guys. But I kind of tell them, like, hey, man, you – Hey, you know, slow down sooner than later. You know what I mean? They, they, you kind of your taxes look better. You know what I mean? So, yeah. you know what I mean? Health insurance looks kind of good. Yeah, everything's kind of good. Join, you know? Yeah, bank account looks. Yeah, bank account looks a little bit better. You know what I mean? So.